Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, check it out. So I wanted to talk about a very, a very important subject when it comes to fragrance buying, because you can't end up in this big old loop of just purchasing fragrances because a reviewer says that it smells good, that the bottle is pretty that the top is magnetic or that it's solid metal or that it has your favorite note in it right like fill in the blank anything that gets you interested may get you to uh, make a purchase but i'm here to talk to you about when decants <laughs> goes perfectly wrong and reasons why you should definitely get decants. So here's the situation. I'm headed out to a funeral and I had every single intention of trying a decant of Diagolif by Raza Parfums, right? A $60 five megaliter decant. But in my decant purchasing, I had three others, some Tom Fords, um, some other Raza stuff and being blind, I couldn't read the label, but when I opened the cap, I'm like, hmm, this doesn't smell as if it's been sprayed. I know the other ones I've sprayed, so maybe I can get a whiff. I couldn't. I thought that Diagolif was the fragrance that I had. So my shirt is light yellow and I remember that the reviewers, right, good information, said do not spray this on a white or a light shirt so i had my tank top on and uh, i'm ready to spray so i open up the decant and i begin to spray guess what it was oceana by rise of parfums a fragrance i definitely did not intend on wearing now oceana is very wispy and blue you know i kind of put it in the mind of you know light blue not light blue the fragrance but the color light blue when i think about oceana it's just a very clean very aromatic just you know great smelling non-offensive fragrance it's perfect for the day. It's cool, you know, no problem. But because I'm dressed up, um, I wanted to wear Diagolif. And like I said, it's a $60 decant and I don't have Diagolif on. I, I mean, I'm gonna be out all day. I was gonna try it. I was gonna talk about it. But now you already know the next review is gonna be on Oceana by Raza. Now I purchased my wife a decant of Oceana and she smelled so good, I'm like, I need to try it out for myself. I ordered her nine megaliters. You know, she used up all nine megaliters and didn't say, hey, baby, you want to try it? You know, I guess that's just her, right? So nevertheless, I got my own five megaliters. I have it on today. I'll talk about it in a future video um, coming up. But I did want to talk to you guys very seriously about decants. Listen, I'm 400 bottles in. I'm probably you know, whatever, six, $7,000 into fragrances. I love them. I can't see, I can't go buy a Porsche and enjoy it. So I buy fragrances. My sense of smell, it's the channel is, you know, magnificent. My hearing is great. My ability to touch is fine, right? And so when I think about decants, when it's a very, very expensive fragrance, $1,200 like Diagolif, I definitely want to get a decant. Um, but the reason for that, number one, you get to try it before you buy it, right? That's number one. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to try it. Now, even at $60, that's still a bunch of money because I can get, you know, 100 megaliters of some other fragrance, you know, off of discounters for the same price. So, you know, five megaliters at $60 or 100 megaliters at $60. Big bank takes little bank or little bank takes big bank or nevertheless, you get to try it out before you make a big purchase. Uh, the second thing is it's a lot cheaper. You know, you split the scent, hence scent split is where I suggest that you get your fragrances for uh, yourself and for others to try out. 
So you get it at a cheaper cost as far as your barrier entry, right? So that's two. The third one is just the very fact that you can try out a lot of scents for a little bit of money and you get to know whether it works on your skin or not, whether or not this is going to last, whether or not you actually really, really like the scent enough to dive in and make that purchase or whether it's something that you can pass on in your fragrance collection. Does it already, you know, do you already have a scent that performs the task that this scent would do? You know, for example, I'm headed out, you know, I'm gonna hang out with my friends after the funeral, you know, we can go have some dinner. Um, you know, do I already have a nice dressy dinner scent? In this fragrance profile, in this scent profile, in the notes that I like to wear? Well, I mean, the answer is yes or no, just depends on what you want. So that's the biggest reason for um, getting decants of scents, trying them out. You know, when you go to Macy's and they hand you, you know, two or three decants with your purchase, you could try out some other stuff, you know. Now, two megaliters is not enough for me unless it's very po you know powerful um, but i usually do a five or even a, a nine megaliter bottle to test out a fragrance if i'm going to do that prior to making a purchase uh, some stuff if it's hard to find like i am desperately looking for <laughs> uh, ysl blue electric right so if you know anybody who has it please let me know i had to uh, go to dual brand and get um, their version of it just to find out what it's you know like or you know how it was interpreted i i i, I would buy it buy it blind blue electric for sure like a thousand percent right so because i know it's hard to find and every time chaos fragrances comes out with his community posting i miss it not because I didn't get to the email fast enough because I can't do the checkout process fast enough before you guys buy it all up. So listen, check it out using a decant. Purchase it based off of your experience with the decant. And uh, once you buy your bottle, you still got some more left in the decant, share it with your friends. So speaking of sharing, I want you guys to jump into this $1,000 giveaway. We're trying to, we're going to, when we do get to a thousand subscribers, what we're going to do is give away $1,000. And the only thing we ask is that you subscribe, of course, that you like the video and that you comment. And what do I want you to comment about at minimum? I want you to comment about what are you wearing? What are you wearing today? And we'll see you in the next video.